What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today me and my friend Idris, of course, we are going to prepare a Thanksgiving dinner. So today, right now, we are going to marinate and prepare the turkey and then we will keep it for almost 24 hours. And then tomorrow we're gonna put it in the grill and roast it. So let's start. <laughs> Okay, so here is the plan for today. So today we're gonna marinate the turkey and and then we are gonna make uh, some side dishes such as mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, apple pie, sounds uh, good, which is our favorite, cranberry sauce and some gravy too. Sounds good. So let's start with the turkey. So please tell me what's the procedure of this lovely bird today? Okay, since turkey is a very big bird, uh, we don't wanna bake it and make it dry. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll <clears throat> make a marinating brine mm -hmm. and then we stole some injections from RHS clinic and we're going to inject the solution inside the chicken to make it flavorful from the inside mm -hmm. and then probably cook it tomorrow for a long time slow and oh, what's that that's the neck that's the neck my lovely bird oh damn it's heavy you don't have to manhandle it come on oh. let, it, let it go that's heavy <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Please tell me what are the ingredients. Okay, so for that's the turkey. That's the turkey. That's a huge it's turkey. A very manly turkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Okay, so for the marination, we're gonna do two parts. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them we have to insert some compound butter under the skin, mm -hmm. and then we are gonna inject some brine inside. So let's start making the solution the butter solution which we're gonna inject in the turkey and then i'm gonna make the thick paste of the butter which i'm gonna put on um, beneath the skin beneath the skin inside so let's start doing that turkey. so right here we have half a stick of butter which is melted and to that we're gonna add equal parts water because some of the spices don't really dissolve inside the butter i had um some msg this. some msg yeah that's controversial bro ah uh, it's not so we're gonna add a teaspoon of MSG, around two teaspoons of garlic salt, teaspoon of paprika. Make it a little spicy. This is cumin. Usually in Western cuisines, they don't use cumin, but I prefer cumin because it's gonna give it some nice flavor. Right here, we have some lemon juice. It is, right? I think so, so. we're gonna add Three you know, we are gonna we are gonna eyeball it, but probably let's say around two tablespoons. <laughs> this is a sauce people in the UK use. Is it halal? It is. Yeah, it's just like molasses, vinegar, and uh, black pepper. It's it's really nice. It has a good flavor. Do you want to use some shanka chicken masala? <laughs> no, I don't want to make this Indian style. You know, Thanksgiving is American. Add some salt. Because MSG is not salty, it's it's gonna enhance the flavor, but we still have to add some salt. True. Okay, and lastly, what... my bad. You have to. We are gonna mix this and. So you tasted it. How was it? It was really good. It's it really tasted nice, like, right? Yeah, it tasted like uh, Maggie soup. Yeah, that MSG makes your cheeks squeeze. Okay. Okay, so this is a 10 ml uh, syringe. So unfortunately, we had to go to Jewel Osco to find another syringe because this smaller one was not working. So we had to go and find this huge five So just, let's start the process. Okay, let's get some of our marinade here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And go 45 degree. Yeah, no, we're not gonna go 45. You know why? Because the muscle is not that deep. Okay, I have to do the second test. You know, this marinade is mainly for the breast because the breast gets dry. That's the driest part, yeah. You wanna see the 45 degree? Let me do the 90 degree. Make sure you get into the thighs. Okay, so what are we doing now? So now we have already put a lot of solution inside turkey's breast, legs and everywhere. And you can see that the turkey is looking so huge now. It has gained at least two, three more pounds. But now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a, a butter. We're gonna put some thyme and rosemary into it. 
okay and we're gonna put some paprika just a little bit that's it and now we're gonna make up and some msg oh yeah of course why not some msg that's the secret powder right oh, everyone yes, should use it of course everyone and now we're gonna make a paste like this sounds good okay so that's what the paste look like now the trick you're gonna put your hand like this okay and then you're gonna make you have to dissect it right kind of make a plane make a plane so you're gonna put your hand inside it and then you're gonna you know separate the fat from the skin and then you're gonna put your hand all over there don't go too hard because it can break the skin and then you know the butter in which you want to put it it won't go inside so just go just like this you see this just over here like this you just have to put butter inside it so that you know when you put this in the oven it can melt it just make some don't put it don't make a lot of over here because it had the turkey has to hold the skin okay so show it from here so you, as you can see the skin is still intact from here from the sternum of the turkey and you can see over there okay this is so now we are, we're going to take uh, butter okay and then we will put it over here like this just take a little bit and then you know Put it over here like this and then you slide it down and then again this much you will put it the butter here. is salted right oh yeah it is and then you just slide it we, down we, like we this. want the food to be seasoned right mm -hmm. more butter over here the, all of this butter will get melted so we don't have to worry about anything so what's the significance of this butter under the skin so what basically this butter does this butter melts and then it goes inside the turkey's breast inside this thing and let does it also make the skin crispy yeah it makes the skin a lot of crispy and then you're going to take your other hand and then slide all the butter down like this you know so it can go to each and every part so here like this and then we'll just slide it down like this see the turkey's sternum is longer than yours right maybe <laughs> so there you go we are almost done now it's time to make the spices and then we're going to season it the spice at the top of everything yeah that's it but we are okay so now we are almost done with the marination of the turkey and now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for 24 hours how the turkey looks like after marination idris especially is going to make some baked what well, the mashed potatoes and some gravy and some gravy and he's going to make some pie um, I think you're gonna make the pie because you make it better. Okay, so I'm gonna make the pie and he's gonna do the rest and we're gonna leave the turkey for tomorrow for Thanksgiving and then we'll come back and then we'll see how this goes in the oven. See you guys tomorrow now. Welcome to the actual day of Thanksgiving and it is almost in the afternoon and right now our turkey has been marinated for more than 24 hours. So let's take the turkey out and see how it looks and then we're gonna season it with a lot of spice and then we're gonna grill it. So that's how the turkey looks like. It's almost more than 15 pounds, I guess. And it is so heavy after we put so much of brine into its breast, legs and everything. And let's see how the turkey looks. It smells really delicious. Oh, look at this. Mm. The marination looks nice. And you can see the cranberry over there. Idris is gonna make the cranberry sauce. And now we're gonna do some seasoning on the top and then we're going to put it over. The oven is ready for 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put the turkey inside the oven for at least three to four hours and then we'll see how it looks. So please tell me, what are the seasoning? Just simple like the brine that we made, some paprika, some black pepper, some MSG, some salt and garlic powder. That's it. That's it and we're going to just sprinkle it on the top? Yeah, we'll keep it simple uh, because we don't want to use spices which will burn on the skin because we're gonna put it in the oven for for at least three to four three hours to right four hours yeah so we, we don't want to burn the outside okay what else we're gonna do after that after that we're gonna stuff the inside of the turkey with some vegetables some uh, bread if we have some and uh, then we're gonna close the cavity and put it in the oven for three four hours and then we'll see so once we are done with the seasoning then after that we're gonna make some cranberry sauce 
and we have the turkey's neck and its butt for its gravy after that we're gonna make some mashed potatoes and by that time our turkey would have been cooked right and then we we'll see how it's gonna look okay so now we're gonna I'm gonna put some uh, rosemary and thyme, of course, for the flavor. So we can make some stuffing from those bread too, right? Yeah, we can make. That's the main reason we are putting that thing. We can make some stuffing. So rosemary is done. Let's put some thyme inside it. We're gonna take a bunch of thyme because it gives a very good flavor. So we're gonna put some thyme over here, and then. Okay, so it's not time to for another onion to go inside. We're gonna put everything stuffed here. Now it's time for the bread. It will show it, show it here how it looks like from the inside the cavity. So that's how it looks like. And then a little bit of more thyme here. And then we're gonna make sure this close. like this, pinch it to bring it back, pull it tight and that's pull a perfect tight. surgical knot. Do it again a couple of times. Okay, this turkey. beneath it so that it catches all the juices and turkey has already gone inside the grill and now it's time to make some mashed potatoes cranberry sauce and some gravy so let's start making those things okay so first of all we're gonna cut the turkey into pieces uh, once we cut them into pieces we'll have to fry it uh, once it's golden brown uh, we'll add some vegetables some aromatics and then we're gonna let it sit there and boil for a couple of minutes and uh, when we get this stock, we're gonna turn it into gravy. And so this is the turkey's butt, which is really fatty and it's gonna make our stock really flavorful. It looks like a vani butt. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna put the turkeys and roast them until golden brown. Onion. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Uh, we'll add a bunch of thyme. But right here, along the, with the aromatics, we added some water, probably a gallon, uh, more than that. We're gonna let this uh, simmer for maybe uh, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. and then we'll strain it, we'll take the stock and make some gravy with it. Okay. Okay, so it's time for the cranberry sauce. So we're gonna take one cup of sugar. Let me measure the sugar. We have one cup of sugar over here, 
and then we're gonna put orange juice usually we have to put one cup of orange juice but it, it's little lesser than that because we just drank everything we're gonna put all the orange juice over here and then we're gonna add one cup of sugar the sugar goes here and after the sugar we're gonna add the cranberry so let's add all the cranberry and then we're gonna just uh, put it simmer the cranberry is gonna release its own water and then it's gonna make the sauce so the cranberries um, are inside you also have to put some cardamoms right yeah we, so we got some cardamoms i'm not taking a lot of cardamoms that's all what i am taking we're gonna put some cardamoms over here and then we gonna simmer it so that's how the uh, cranberry looks like the juice is already coming out and so the cranberry is almost done. We have already kept this for five to six minutes and now we're gonna keep this for another five to six minutes. And once the cranberry is done after five minutes, then we're gonna just keep it like this to cool it down and then it's ready. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Mmm, this is so delicious. Try this one, try this one, try this one. Mmm, oh wow, this is so good. So that's how the broth of the tail and the turkey's butt look like. It's already cooked and looks very delicious. So let's drain this out over here. And now we're gonna make a gravy out of this, right? Yeah. So let's start making the gravy. That's how the turkey broth looks like. The meat is over here. They are so delicious. And now we are going to make the gravy. So for the gravy, we have to put like half a stick half a stick of butter and then what's that after okay now we'll add a tablespoon probably two tablespoons of flour and we'll toast that and until it's so this has turned a little brown and now we're gonna add the broth in it and we have to stir this one slowly slowly So as you can see that now it's uh, really thick and almost done. So I'm gonna stir it for a couple of more minutes and then the gravy is ready. So after the gravy, we have, all, we have already done with the gravy, with the uh, canberry sauce and the turkey is here. It's gonna take another two to three hours. And then after that, we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. It has been almost more than two hours. So let's check how the turkey looks like. This is how the turkey looks like and I think we're gonna keep this for 30 more minutes. Now it's time to make mashed potatoes. So Idris has already peeled the potatoes and cut into halves. And now we have this boiling water with a little bit of salt in it. So we're gonna um, cook the potatoes for how long Idris? For maybe 15-20 minutes until they are soft. When we stick a knife inside them and it goes smoothly. What and else? I will strain them and then mash them with some butter and some milk. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna season it a bit, not that much because we already have the gravy for it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, so now.
The extender, right? Yep, this is one of the legs and this is the other one. Other one, and then we have our stuffing here. Bring out the stuffing. Uh, we'll probably take that out later on. First, let's carve it. So start carving it. A leg right here. Put it here. Okay, we have one of the legs. Look at the look juice. how tender this is. Oh yes, it is. And, and look how juicy this is. You want this? You want this? Look. On the side, there you go, not that much, it's sweet, and then we'll let's go for it. Tasting the gravy with the back potatoes. Mmm, mmm, I'm gonna take this one, dip into the gravy, oh, yeah, that's take, nice. some, take some mashed potatoes in it, and then that's nice. Mmm, look, it's so tender. All right, so we are waiting for some of our friends to arrive. We'll have the dinner. See you guys in the next video. All for this video, the turkey looks delicious. The food is delicious. We're gonna have our dinner. We were waiting for this for since past four hours. If you guys like my video, do like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Happy Thanksgiving again, and let's go and have this bird. See you guys until next time.